Speaking of coaches, Marvin Lewis last night once again loses to an in-division rival at home in prime time, and the Bengals are not going to make the postseason. And last night just kind of felt like the Marvin Lewis trifecta. If there was a checklist for a Marvin Lewis hat trick, it would be number one, way, way, way commit more penalties for more penalty yardage than your opponent. Got it. <laughs> then have at least a two-touchdown lead and blow it and lose. Got it. <laughs> and finally, make sure it's at home against a division rival in prime time. I mean, that right there was the most Bengals Bengals of all time. Cincinnati had a 17-0 lead this game and then decided we will try to draw a flag and commit stupid penalties on every play after this. We will give Ben Roethlisberger all of the time in the world in the fourth quarter. We won't be able to cover anybody. We will ourselves make mistakes. We won't move the football, and we'll give the Steelers chance after chance after chance to keep scoring on us, and we will lose in crushing fashion. I mean, if there is ever a Marvin Lewis football life, it should just be that game. Here was Marvin Lewis's career right here. Let's penalize ourselves into oblivion, keep giving the opponent first downs, blow a three-score lead, and do it at home in a crucial spot heading towards the postseason, taking us out of playoff contention. I've said this for two years. I'll say it for three. The Cincinnati Bengals should have removed Marvin Lewis from that head coaching job three years ago. And they should have moved him into the front office because the Cincinnati Bengals have actually drafted pretty well. They don't sign big-time free agents, and they've been consistently a playoff contender for a long time under Marvin Lewis. They're never an embarrassment. They're never 2-14. and 14. They're never the Browns. They're never 0-16. Move Marvin Lewis into a personnel role in the front office and get new blood on the sidelines. And they have allowed assistant after assistant to move on. Could you imagine if the Bengals had promoted Mike Zimmer to head coach instead of letting him go to Minnesota and had Mike Zimmer on the sidelines and Marvin Lewis in the front office? Great. Perfect. You love it. They have allowed all these guys a brain drain, and now they're stuck with only Marvin. They need to make a change. But Paul Brown's, well, the Brown family, Paul Brown's legacy is there, but the Brown family doesn't want to pay. Mike Brown doesn't like to pay any money for anything. And so you can never, you can never assume they're going to do what's right. They're going to do what's most financially viable.